everyone, Dr. Susan Brown from the Center for Better Bones. Today I want to talk to you about some nutrients that are really key to my heart. I want to talk to you about allergy and the allergy approach, the supplement approach that I have developed over the years to cure my allergies. I just want to chat about it with you. That is, we're going to talk about the antihistamine and anti-allergy effects of both quercetin and vitamin C. Probably few of you are old enough to remember when the airplanes allowed people to smoke. When I would go on these airplanes, I was a young anthropologist traveling around, I would get such a headache that I had to wear a carbon filter. I looked like Darth Vader because just the fumes from that airplane, that smoke would give me a terrific headache. Or when I drove into Los Angeles working as an anthropologist, I actually had to wear a mask because I was so sensitive to the chemicals. I'm happy to say that these two nutrients, I'm going to talk about vitamin C and a high potency quercetin, really helped me to overcome those allergies along with all the other things I did to discover my allergy symptoms, my problems, and to heal the leaky gut. Quercetin and vitamin C, that's what we're going to talk about today. Quercetin is, of course, a flavonoid. It's a plant compound. It's part of those compounds that give color to plants. They're very powerful antioxidants. They protect the plants from mold, from radiation, from bacteria, from viruses, and they also protect us when we eat the quercetin. Quercetin is totally a plant compound. It can come from food like grapes and red raspberries, broccoli, onions, many foods contain quercetin. What we like to get is quercetin, it is very highly bioavailable. For example, the food factor quercetin is often in the form of quercetin dihydrate. Quercetin dihydrate is the form of quercetin that I use in my practice. And some research suggests that you can get three to 17% absorption of quercetin. Now we have been able to work with quercetin dehydrate in specialized form that gets much better absorption. So we're looking at a much higher absorption of quercetin and we know that vitamin C actually helps the absorption and the bioavailability of quercetin. So you're going to see why it's a great idea to use quercetin together with buffered ascorbate or vitamin C. The half-life of quercetin in the body is about three and a half hours. I find in my own program I use quercetin several times a day and it's very effective. Quercetin has many, many effects that help with allergy. Number one, it stabilizes the mast cells. And the mast cells are those immune cells that when they're exposed to antigen, they produce histamines. And we're going to talk about the histamines in a second. Because it stabilizes the mast cells, it reduces histamines, and so it's a very antihistamine. Quercetin is also antioxidant in its own right and anti-inflammatory. You can look at this chart and see the many, many effects of quercetin. It's actually the most studied flavonoid of all, and lots of research on quercetin and its beneficial effects on preventing cancer, heart disease, many other health situations. But as an antihistamine, quercetin stabilizes mast cells these mast cells, when they're exposed to an allergen, they release histamine. Now histamine is that compound that causes you to have a runny nose, to have itching. And the compound in quercetin, quercetin has a similar effect in quieting down these histamines as the common drug chromalin sodium that's used over the counter to, as an antihistamine. So quercetin itself naturally has these compounds that are antihistamine, just like some of our drug therapy, but it doesn't have the negative effects of the antihistamine drug therapy. It won't make you drowsy. In fact, it'll make you more energized. The typical dose of quercetin that some clinicians use is four to 500 milligrams, maybe three times a day. I prefer a specially potent form of quercetin dehydrate, and we use 1,000 milligrams maybe three or four times a day extremely effective in the higher doses. So let's just look at what a histamine is. A histamine is really a compound that's involved in a local immune response. It's involved in the inflammatory response, like I said, causing the itching in that. And there was a good function to histamine in that it causes the capillary to dilate a little and the white blood cell can flow more freely to, freely to be able to get to the toxin and take care of it, to that allergy, allergy producing component. But the problem is too much histamine definitely leads to unpleasant symptoms, congestions, in my case a lot of headaches. 
So we want to control the histamine. This is where quercetin comes in. It's the best natural antihistamine because of this polyphenol content. It stabilizes not only the mast cells, but also another white blood cell called the basophils. And it also dials down the eosinophils, another white blood cell that's involved in allergic response. On many fronts, quercetin is very anti-allergy, antihistamine. I like to use quercetin with pomegranate. Pomegranate is another one of these superfoods that again is very effective at helping with immediate reactions, what are called IgE allergic reactions. The quercetin I use combines a lot of quercetin with a little bit of pomegranate. Okay, so here's a dynamic duo I use in clinical practice. It's a combination of very high quality, potent quercetin dihydrate with pomegranate. We call the product Relieve and Repair. It's my number one anti-inflammatory, anti-allergy agent. I've used it for decades myself personally and have thousands of clients who great, receive great benefits for this for pain, inflammation, and particularly for allergy. Quercetin, that wonderful plant compound, goes very well together with ascorbate, buffered ascorbate, another plant compound. I'm going to be talking a lot about ascorbate because I'm very proud to bring a professional grade, very pure ascorbate to the public. This ascorbate is very potent. It's the maternal sacrificial antioxidant, the only molecule in biology that has the energy to pass an electron over the half a millimole volt to get that electron into the mitochondria, which is the power plant of the cell. It is thus a major repair agent, a major energizing agent for practically for every cell in the body. Vitamin C also has many anti-allergy effects. Particularly, what you note know is people with allergic situations have been found to have lower levels of ascorbate in their plasma. And when you gave them ascorbate, even a couple grams of vitamin C, they were able to reduce histamine, that histamine response which is so annoying, by about 38%. Vitamin C can really also help quiet down the allergic response. It's great to use in combination with quercetin. And and even more than that is vitamin C energizes the whole body, detoxif helps to detoxify the whole body, and is the supreme antioxidant that can serve every cell. So I like the combination of vitamin C and quercetin. Vitamin C has been shown effective in asthma, that actually it really quiets down those mast cells that give you those bronchial hypersensitivity in asthma. It's very effective in that kind of a treatment for inflammation from asthma, bronchial inflammation. It's even been used as a nasal spray to help correct rhinitis and those, those nasal congestion symptoms. And actually, uh, there was a significant decrease in the nasal blockage and those nasal symptoms with spray vitamin C. It's interesting, you know, no matter what we look at, no matter what disorder, it seems like exercise plays an important role. This was a kind of interesting study that showed that exercise combined with vitamin C actually gave greater, better benefits in reducing these common allergic responses. We all know exercise is good for you. We know that vitamin C is good for you. You put them together, you get a nice result. So I want to remind you in closing Quercetin, a great plant compound, the most highly studied flavonoid, a terrific antihistamine, very anti-allergy. Vitamin C, the maternal sacrificial antioxidant, they work very together, terrifically to reduce allergies. Remember, a vitamin is something that actually makes you ill if you don't eat it. These are the words of the famous Nobel laureate, Albert St. George, who actually isolated vitamin C from paprika in his wife's garden. I would state it differently. I would say vitamin C, the vitamin is a nutrient that you die if you don't eat it. And certainly if one is devoid of, scur of, vi of vitamin C for a long period of time, they will die from scurvy. And we've told that story before about those brave sailors who crossed the ocean and a lot of them died. So we're saying have some fun. If you're getting into allergies this season, know that you can do a lot about it. Know that I had terrific allergies, both chemical allergies, both food allergies, all kinds of sensitivities and lived with lots of inflammation and lots of headache. And I'm happy to say these two nutrients really helped me get over that situation of allergy. I hope you give them a try and let me know how you do.